the nine biggest surprises in two years of retirement. Number one, my self-esteem has gone up. Yes, it's gone up. Now, when I was working, you know, I was never in a huge position. The best I had was like I was a manager over a couple people uh, back in 2010, 2009, 2008. So I never had a really totally prestigious position. All right. When I retired, I actually feel more self-esteem than I had before. Why is that? Because I don't compare myself to anyone at work. I don't compare myself to anyone I meet. Um, I think I'm doing pretty some good for people with my YouTube channel, helping people out with what I've gone through. So hopefully they can retire early as I did. So all these things together, my self-esteem has gone up in retirement, not the other way. Some people have an issue with that. Some people in high powered positions, it's gone the other way for them. Number two, sequence of returns risk. I could have never, ever foreseen that coming when I retired. When I retired in August of 2021, I was sitting on top of the world. I had a little over $500,000. Six months later, I had lost forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. Yes, in six months. It was crazy. I never could have foreseen that. That was the biggest surprise out of anything, I think. Now, I figured out ways to combat that. I think I'm doing fine now. Things are starting to look better, right? Economy, stock market, everything. But that was a huge, as viewers of this channel know, I like to say huge surprise to me. Sequence of returns risk. Number three, I found out that I'm good at doing nothing. I'm good at just sitting around and having all kinds of time on my hands. I wasn't sure coming into it. Would I be good with that? Wouldn't I? I don't know. Now, by, by doing nothing, I mean, you know, not just sitting there staring at a blank wall and thinking about, oh, all those great times I had in college. No, by doing nothing, I mean reading. You know, I do so much reading or thinking about uh, topics for my YouTube channel. I'm not really doing much. I don't have a full-time job. To me, I have a lot of time on my hands to do not much, right? And you know what? I'm good with that. I wasn't sure I would be going into this, but I'm good with that. Number four, I am totally surprised that I'm pulling in part-time income from YouTube. Yeah, you know, a lot of people try to get a channel up and running. Not as easy as it looks. Um, so yeah, I'm surprised that I'm actually bringing in part-time money from YouTube. And to all you, my viewers, thank you so much. And for any of you who are watching me for the first time, this is a channel based on retiring on moderate income. Uh, we have a lot of good strategies for that. We have good strategies coming back and forth all the time from viewers on the comments. Oh my God, it's great. If you're interested in that, thinking about uh, subscribing. And if you like the video, please like it as well. So yeah. So happy. When I went into this, I said, if I can cover my mortgage in any kind of part-time income, I'll be good. I'm doing that with YouTube. I'm so happy. And I love putting out these videos and, you know, relaying to, to you guys what has worked for me in retirement and what is not. Totally happy with this. Uh, the next one, I'm a better handyman than I thought. Yeah, things come up around my house as everyone's house, right? And whereas before, I might look at something and, and go, yeah, I don't know if I'm willing to tackle that. You know, I should get someone who knows what they're doing. I have time where I can try and figure it out. Guess what? I figured out more than I haven't. So yeah, that was an unknown, I don't know if I'd call it a skill, uh, but something that I didn't know that I'd be halfway decent at. Now, if you look at it, are you gonna say, oh, look at that, man. He just kind of put that together with uh, tape and paste. Hey, I don't care, it works, you know? There's not that many people that visit me at my house anyway. It works, that's all I care about. Does it work? Yes, it works. Does it work? Yes, I'm good. The next one, 
I am so much more relaxed than I ever thought I would be. As I've talked about in videos before, the jobs I've had, I wouldn't call them totally stressful. Like if you're a stock, you know, a stock trader on the, on the floor of the, you know, Wall Street. It wasn't like that, but it was enough stress. But I had no idea how much more relaxed I would be in retirement after getting rid of all that stuff, especially the Sunday night fear of, ooh, Monday morning, got to go into work again. Getting rid of just that one night, whoo, made my life so much better. Now, I have a couple more that I mentioned in my one year after retirement video, but I'll mention them again. I bought a house. Never would have thought that would have happened. My plan was going into this was to get a tiny house, spend like maybe 30,000 bucks, spend another 15,000 on a piece of land, plop it down, boom, I'm good. Uh-uh, wasn't as easy as that. Didn't research it as much as I should have. So the place I ended up getting in the high desert, never would have thought that would have happened, but I'm so happy that I got it. I'm just at peace. I am gonna, you know what? If I die tomorrow, bury me on that, on that, please, on that plot of land, okay? Bury me there. Fine. There it is. It's on video for all time. Number two of the ones I mentioned in my one year anniversary. My relationship with my girlfriend has gotten deeper in retirement. Even though we live about two and a half hours, two and a half? No, not that far. A couple hours away. It's got deeper. Now, is that, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder? Sorry, it's getting a little windy up here, guys. I'm at the very top of Mount Washington, so hopefully you, can, hopefully you can still hear me. Is that absence makes the heart grow fonder? I don't know, but it's working. Our relationship has got better. It's got deeper as far as I'm concerned. Again, you'll have to ask her, but she's very, very shy, as you can tell in my uh, retirement update monthly videos. Uh, and the last one I have for you is about friends. I mentioned this again in my, in my one year anniversary of retirement. Your friends that you think will be there for you in retirement might not always be there, especially work friends. That was a huge surprise to me when it happened. So be aware of that, guys. People you think might be your best buddies at work, for me at least, a lot of them weren't there after I retired. A lot of them. So you will find out who your best friends are when you retire, when they're gonna wanna check in with you, good and bad. If they don't, there you go. Were they really your good friends to begin with? Probably not, right? So anyway, guys, there you go. After two years of retirement, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Those are the, was it eight or nine? I can't even remember. Uh-oh, senility, senility is setting in. That's what I got for you guys in this video. And just remember, as always, keep your ducks in a row. Keep them quacking. Keep them going fast. Keep them waddling those cute little butts. We got this.